So today we're harvesting mini Roma tomatoes. I got these at Home Depot. I had never had them before. And just like any other tomato, they reach full size before they go red. And once they're red and firm, they're ready to pick. And you wanna get them when they're like this because you don't want them to be super soft um, cause they'll be too soft and they'll fall apart. Like I said, I wasn't sure how big these were gonna get. Um, this is the very first one I've picked. It's about an inch and a half. That's roughly measuring, cause you know, obviously it's an odd shape. But, so that's what, like, if you look at it compared to my thumb, right? It's probably about two grape tomatoes or two cherry tomatoes, I would say. So it really is very tiny. <laughs> I am not super particular about what I do with my tomatoes. I pretty much use any kind of tomato on any kind of thing. Uh, one thing you should always know when you cut a tomato, I'm doing this one hand obviously because I'm holding the camera, is you want to get this slimy stuff out, especially when you're doing, um, well, almost anything. I mean, it just makes it better, right? And then you want to cut out this part right here, and then I'll show you what I'm doing with it. So like one little mini Roma really does not give you a lot, but it's perfect for a baby bagel sandwich, which I put lettuce and tofu and homemade hummus and sandwich sprinkle. If you've never had the sandwich sprinkle from Penzi's, you are missing out. It is great on everything. So this smells so good. If you've never had garden fresh tomatoes, then you don't get what I'm talking about with the difference, but trust me, huge difference. So teeny tiny Roma tomatoes are great because you can just pick what you need and go with it.